Now for thousands of years, the mistletoe has been surrounded by myth and mystery. The ancient Druids believed that this particular plant was sacred. When they held their ceremonies, they used to harvest it using a golden sickle. In more recent times, this plant has taken on romantic connotations, particularly around, around Christmas time, um, and it's associated with love and devotion. It's actually propagated by using the berries. Now you can't sow it as you would normal seeds because the mistletoe is actually a parasite and it needs a host plant on which it can live, something like apple, uh, willow and hawthorn, a whole range of plants but those are the three most common ones. In order to get these mistletoe berries to germinate and grow they need a bit of help. And the best way to do that is to actually injure the host plant. You damage the bark so that you can actually lodge the berries somewhere and then the seed can germinate and grow into the host plant. And the way this is done is you start by making an, an inverted T cut. So you have a horizontal cut at the bottom and then make the leg of the T cutting down vertically and then you need to lift the two flaps of bark that you've created so that you've made an opening where you can actually lodge the berry complete with the seed. After a few days, this is what it looked like. The berry itself starts to turn brown. You get all these markings around the wound. Now that's actually the contents of the berry. It's a mucilage. Now you need to watch it. As soon as you've done this, go and wash your hands because if you get any of this in your mouth, it can cause stomach complaints. If it's been successful and the seeds have germinated, you don't get much for a start, but at around about October, November time, what you will see is one little green shoot that emerges from the stem and that's all you'll probably see for about the first year or 18 months. In fact, quite often you don't even notice they're there. But now if your mistletoe is growing on a healthy host, it will grow quite quickly. This is what it will look like after about three years. You can see a small clump here it's actually emerging from the stem, and in this case it's on an apple tree, but continue to grow until it's about five years old. Then if it's a female plant it will start to produce berries. If it's a male plant, it's a lot of work for nothing because it will never ever produce berries, which is a real shame.